Right, new reporting from the Washington Post that former President Trump is struggling to assemble a team of veteran lawyers to defend him against the Justice Department investigation into the handling of confidential documents at Mar-a-Lago. Joining us, national political reporter at the Washington Post, Isaac, or, uh, Isaac Arnsdorf, who was part of the team that broke this story. Isaac, great to see you. What are you reporting this morning in terms of the search for lawyers? So there's definitely a recognition among some of Trump's advisors that they need some more legal firepower here, that this is a, a very serious and complicated case, has a lot of legal issues You're up against the Department of Justice with all its resources, and they need some heavy hitters. They need some people who have experience working and winning cases at this level. And that's, uh, but the problem is they've actually been going around trying to add those people to the team, and they've been hearing a lot of no's. So they do have two lawyers with experience. They have Evan Corcoran, right, who was Bannon's lawyer in one trial, and Jim Trusty, who's also someone who's got federal experience here. Why do they need more, and why are people saying no? Yeah, they've also got John Rowley, who's been handling some of the interactions with the Justice Department, and he also has some experience. But then, you know, looking at the rest of the team, you've got a former OAN host, you've got a property insurance lawyer who joined the bar in 2014, and you've got someone who leads a three-person firm and used to be the general counsel for a parking garage company. And uh, so one issue is, is the level of experience um, and also the leadership, you know, who, who is in charge here? Who is going to run this? And, you know, ordinarily uh, representing a f the former president in a high profile case like this would be the opportunity of a lifetime that all sorts of uh, famous lawyers would be clamoring for. But, you know, the issue here, and, and, and we've seen this before, um, like if you think back to the Mueller investigation, uh, when Trump had a similar struggle to get a really uh, ser ser serious seasoned, uh, well-respected lawyers on his team, you know, he, he's a, he doesn't always take advice. Uh, he, uh, he doesn't always pay the bill and he's very controversial. You know, a lot of, a lot of firms and a lot of lawyers, uh, don't want the headaches that would go along with representing him. You know, we, we heard from one lawyer a story about how, uh, you know, they went to the Oval Office for something and told him not to tweet. And by the time they uh, got to the White House driveway and checked their phones, there was a tweet. Isaac Onsdorf, thank you so much for being with us and sharing your reporting. Thank you.